as we know, a lot of changes were going to be made ever since Coach Barry was named the head coach at South Carolina State. A lot of things were going to happen. After the spring, you were going to see a lot of kids hit the portal, and we have started to see it. We got two quarterbacks who were asking to, you know, go into the portal, and that was Andre Washington and Prometheus Franklin. Now, although I'm very disappointed uh, to see those guys go, especially Andre, because y'all know I have been the biggest advocate for Andre Washington, and I still do believe in his skill set, and I will still continue to follow him uh, and cover him where he goes. We got big news. For those of you who have not heard, because this news dropped yesterday, I just couldn't get it to you. Um, Eric Phoenix is coming to South Carolina State. Eric Phoenix is QB1, and he is now at South Carolina State, ladies and gentlemen. If that name sounds familiar, yes, Eric Phoenix is Coach Barry's old quarterback at Benedict. Okay, as a matter of fact, in the 2022 season, which was his last season at Benedict, uh, he led the Tigers to an 11-1 record. I believe he was a two-time All-CAC uh, all selection. I mean, this kid had over 2,000 yards passing, 15 touchdowns, six interceptions. Um, he also put up another 230 on the ground. He was the leader of that offense for Benedict during that great year back in 2022. Also, I'm excited about this because, number one, he's coming on the show this Friday for a live interview. So be on the lookout for that. But number two, number two, um, we got a guy who knows the offense. He knows the offense. You see what I'm saying? So he has a big arm. He can run. He's a dual threat guy. He has a big arm. He can throw the football. He's he, he's one of the better quarterbacks that we've had in the past few years as far as throwing talent goes. So we get this guy, and we got a guy who comes in, and he knows the offense better than anybody in the room, and the only kid left in the room is uh, Mason Kidd. So he's going into his last year of eligibility, so you know he's going to start. He knows the offense better than anybody. He's going to come in, take off, and just go. You know, it might take him a week or two to maybe get back acclimated, but he's going to he's gonna know that offense like the back of his hand, and he's going to lead this run. He's going to lead this offense. So now it is him at the uh, – we know we're good at running back. We got him at quarterback, okay? The weapons that he's got, Keyshawn Tony, Justin Smith-Brown, okay? We're still looking to get some guys. I hope, I hope we get Kareem Burke from FAMU. I really do. But, you know, Justin Smith-Brown – uh, Nick Soul, Caden High, guys, we have some guys. We still got some guys coming. I just can't tell you who. Um, but we got we got more guys coming, especially on the offensive side of the ball. So just trust, this ain't it. But for those of you who are wondering, well, what happened to Eric in the 2023 season? You said 2022. That's right. Eric transferred to the to the FCS Division One level at Murray State. Didn't really have the best time there. Now he's back in the portal and he's coming to us. So I think he will have more success here, being that, again, he has a great support system. You have the number one MEAC off offensive line in the MEAC coming back because we returned all our guys. We have the number one graded FCS offensive line coach, so protection is not a problem. He has a running game. He has a 6'6 wide receiver in, in, in Nick Sewell. He has Justin Smith-Brown, which is our top guy, our star wide receiver. He has Caden High in the slot, and we're going to get a, a few more guys in the portal. So he has everything at his disposal. Everything is shaping up for this offense to look really, really good. Really, really good. It's getting scary in Orangeburg right now. So, y'all let me know what you think about this move down in the comments below. Again, some of y'all saw this news yesterday, but for those of you who didn't know, now you know. We got our guy. All right? With that being said, y'all are watching the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr. I'm out.